Okay, so we just check for clearance around the exhaust and it's pretty damn close to that catalytic converter, I'll tell you that. Like if uh, if you hit a bump or something, you might hit hear it like pop up and hit the hit the um, catalytic converter, but hey, it's better than getting your cat stole, stolen, right? <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna do the rear shield installation. Step five, note, the installation of the rear shield rivets are standard length, okay? So uh, drill out the four holes in the rear shield using the holes as guides. Install the remaining rivets and check for clearance. They're not very descriptive, okay? Uh, last step, install the cat security stickers. Okay, on the two, okay, that's the last step. We're not there yet. Okay, so now first we're on the part where we drill out the four holes in the rear shield using the holes as guides. Install the remaining rivets and check for clearance. Oh, I see. Then what's this for? What did they give this for? <laughs> That's a good question. Like, why did they give us this? I think this is just to hold the. This is just to hold the shield up. I don't know. I'm not sure. But it's just to use the rivet. So we're gonna use the rivet. The rivets are easier to install. But <laughs> it's easier than trying to drill those things in. I don't know why they give you this. So maybe maybe if you mess up that's what that's for <laughs> okay so these are the remaining rivets let's go install this bad boy okay okay so what you're gonna do is uh you're gonna want to uh the way it installs is it has this cutout right here okay this cutout is gonna go where this big kind of round thingamajigger is here on the exhaust okay you want it to face that okay and you want it to say cat security you know facing the back of the car okay if you were to look under it you know if i was to tilt the camera this way you could read it okay that's the way you want it. and pretty much pretty much just want to tuck it right up on the um this car this little um uh suspension brace okay or a tie bar is what it's called okay so just kind of get it up in there try to try to line it up so it doesn't um hit this thing here actually yeah, what you want to probably do is get right under it just get right under it okay and then see where it's at, okay? So right here, looks good. It's not gonna touch anything, okay? You can put them at, pretty much put it anywhere you want, man. But yeah, just, just line it up. Line it up on the rails. Center it as best as you can, okay? And then just pretty much press it up against this guy here, okay? All right, here we go. I'm gonna go drill it, and then we're gonna go rip it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rivet these two on first, so so uh, it holds it up, and then and then you got something to hold it up. So because I'm having a hard time holding it. One thing, another thing you could do is get a jack and put a put a jack under it. Okay, but I chose to hold it up, so it's kind of hard. Okay.
Okay, there it is. There's the rear shield installed. So, uh, uh, I'm not gonna lie, it's it's kind of hard to inst it's kind of hard hard to hold it in place. Is the problem okay? The the front one, the the actual uh, the braces on the car actually hold it up, so it actually makes it easier. It holds it for you. Okay, so um, alternatively, you could. Uh, you could just use a hold, get a jack and then put it underneath this, and then and then it'll hold it up for you, sort of. Just try your best. Try your best to get all the holes lined up and everything. Okay, so I did pretty good. Um, three of the four went in pretty well. Okay, um, for whatever reason, I had to make the holes a little bit bigger on this side. Um, the the rivets wouldn't go in, you know, um, and uh, a tail sticking out of this one. Okay, so unlike the other one, this one actually riveted it. It's it's on there. It's not going. It's not coming out. Okay, but the tail stayed on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a grinder or a cutters and then cut the tail off and then that's it. Okay, um, that's on there pretty good. That's not coming out. So, all right, rear shield installed. That's it, pretty much done. There's the front shield and then the rear shield. Okay, it's upside down, but so you should be able to read the logos. Okay, all right, let me just cut this tail off and then we'll be done with the rear okay so another note if you if the tail does get stuck in there uh that actually makes it harder to steal because <laughs> because to, to get these out you would probably want to uh, drill them out okay you probably want to get a drill bit that's bigger than the hole in there and then drill it and then this whole thing will come out but it's it, it takes a long time dude um but it's harder if there's something in the hole okay so so that's actually a better thing to do okay <laughs> leave the tails in there but but uh, yeah it, it just takes longer you know um, normally they're just supposed to break right off, okay, or or they, it, it just pulls right pulls it right out, okay. But all what it does is it's, it's mushrooming it, it's deforming it, and then pulls it right through. Okay, so that's it. We're done. Cool. Okay, there it is. So I'm just gonna kind of do a little critique on the the cat security shield for the Prius V. It's pretty much the same as the Prius, the third gen Prius, okay. Um, but you've got to put the uh you got to put spacers on the back okay because it's really really close the catalytic converter is actually a little bit different on this car okay um it's a little bit different than i remember so so if a thief if a thief wanted to steal it what they would do is they would cut yeah they would cut like right around here or something okay they would probably stick the yeah they would probably stick the sawzall in here and cut it where the where the thing is thinnest but it blocks it okay sort of there's still this gap here they can still get it in but it, it trust me it'll be a real pain in the ass to, <laughs> to, to cut this with this shield here okay it, 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 was, it would be a much more much less trouble to just move on to the next car okay so that's that's the idea behind this it doesn't make your catalytic converter theft proof okay but it it makes it theft resistant okay um, right here there's a coolant line here also usually when they cut these out they cut this coolant line and then you got coolant just spewing all over the place so you can't even drive your car okay because it'll overheat um yeah so but yeah, it pretty much the whole you can't even um, you can't even access the bolts to the catalytic converter because normally what they will do is they'll cut it right here, okay, and then they'll unbolt it in the front, okay, or they'll cut both parts out, I guess I don't know, but but it'd be faster to do one cut and then uh, or what they'll do is unbolt it because it's quiet, right? It doesn't make a lot of noise, so they'll unbolt it and then they'll cut this. This that makes a lot of noise. When somebody stole my catalytic converter in front of my house, you can you can bet I knew somebody was doing it. I looked outside, I was like, oh, what is that sound? It's so loud. It was a really, really it makes a lot of noise when they cut this thing, okay? Um, but it only takes like a minute to cut it, okay? Um, even less than a minute, okay? But they would cut it here and then they would unbolt it there and take it out, okay? But since you got the shield here, they're, they're not gonna they're not gonna be able to unbolt it, I'll tell you that. Unless they cut this shield out loud. They, they could probably try to get a jigsaw and saw through all of this, and that would take a long time. It would make a lot of noise. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. A lot of cutting they'd have to do to get this out or or prying, okay? And the, which leads me to uh, one of the things I, I think, you know might make this easier to steal than the other ones is the other ones didn't have this spacer on it okay um, this is really close see look at how close it is to the catalytic converter man so i think if you hit a bump or something you might hear it 
thing, a clunking sound, okay? So that may touch, okay? I don't think it's a big deal. It's probably not gonna break anything. It'll just, it's, it'll just be kind of annoying. But I have to see how it is driving this car, okay? Um, I'll tell you this, the other Priuses that I've installed the cat shield on, you don't even know it's there, okay? Um, and uh, yeah, another thing is, yeah, there's a gap here between this and the frame now. So that's potentially, you can get a pry bar there and pry it, try to pry the rivet out, okay? Um, but yeah, it's it would be much more difficult to steal this car versus uh, um, versus a car that didn't have it. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> that's the that's the idea. It's a it's a theft deterrent device. Okay, and then here you have the rear shield once again. I I still kind of think the rear shield is unnecessary. Okay, but it's nice that they provide it. I guess it, it it's it's more security. Okay, so but I. Seriously, you could just get a sawzall and just stick it in this gap here. So the Prius V has this tie bar, and it's a bar, okay. On on the other Priuses, it's a plate, okay. It's kind of yeah, it's 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 a flat plate, so you wouldn't be able to get a sawzall in there, uh, the saw blade. But uh, but this one you can. Look, you can cut it right there, boom. Okay, so so yeah, um, like I said, it this this doesn't really do much, okay. But it, it makes it. A little more difficult to steal okay because they would have to get it here and then they would have to it, it, the, and even if they did cut it off it it would be hitting this on the way out i guess you could i guess you could get a saw on and cut this like this like that and then rip that like that and then cut here and yeah it would be a lot of cutting and it would make a lot of noise you know they might as well steal your car first you know <laughs> okay um yeah so they would cut here and then unbolt it there. There's no way you're gonna unbolt it, you know? And I think somebody, you could try to cut it right here. You, good luck trying to cut through this, man. This is, this little box here. Good luck trying to cut through that. That looks pretty strong, so. Yeah, it, it would be a real, real pain in the ass to try to steal the catalytic converter on this car, okay? Um, and hopefully you'll never need to change your catalytic converter because <laughs> you have to take this shield out to do it, okay? Um, that's what I'm going to say. Or hopefully nothing gets damaged under here. But another benefit of this is it acts as kind of like a skid plate. It actually protects everything underneath there, okay? Um, yeah, I don't even think you have access to your oxygen sensors anymore. So hopefully your oxygen sensors don't go bad. <laughs> I think you can change them from the top of the car though, okay? All right. So yeah, that's Hades Mega's little critique or analysis of the... Uh, the cat security shield for the Prius V, it, like I said, it's very similar to the third gen, and uh, and yeah, I th I think it 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 will work, okay? It that a thief will will sooner go find another Prius to steal a catalytic converter than try to defeat this, okay? <laughs> it's like I said, it's not it's not theft proof, but it's it's a good de theft deterrent, okay? Is what it is. Okay, right. so this is the last step. The last step is install the cat security stickers on the two rear windows and back window of your Prius to let people know where you can, just, you can put them anywhere you want, okay? Well, uh, what I would do is I would probably install it yeah, you know, on the window like right here, okay? Or on um, anywhere you want, like I said, but where I would install one is here. So put it somewhere, somewhere the, put it somewhere a thief will see, okay? Right here, okay? Right here is good. And then I would say, I would say put it like right here or right here um wherever you know maybe like right here is good okay that way they'll see it they'll know hey there's something in there you know maybe one right here or one right here or one on each side of the window if you got three of them put them somewhere where somebody will see them okay and then they'll know they'll know oh let's not mess with this car it's kind of like those it's kind of like on a car alarm car alarms have those stickers on the car that says oh, it's protected by yada da 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 you know same thing it's it's there to let them know hey don't try don't try anything funny you know um because uh i got i got a cat shield under there so don't don't even bother checking or you know one thing you could do is just put the put the sticker on and then uh, not even have a cat shield <laughs> there that way that way that's one way to deter it right it's like having a uh it's like having a uh, whatchamacallit uh one of those fake security cameras in front of your house right <laughs> it's just there it's just there for show right all right so uh so yeah, that's the last step. Put the stickers on your car so the thieves know that, you know, freaking uh, you're you're protected. All right, here's my go. All right, here's my here. So uh, these are some kind of closing notes for the uh, Prius V install. Um, it's about as hard as a third gen. Uh, it took me roughly two hours to do this, and that was with like shooting video and stuff. So 
It should take you less than two hours if you know what you're doing, okay? <laughs> That's what I'm gonna say, all right? Um, so you do, you definitely, with this tool, you, but you definitely have to have enough ground clearance to use a drill, okay? So that's how much, that's from here to here is about how much uh, you need to uh, get the car up in the air, okay? That's the minimum, all right? I was already kind of having, I was already cramped in there. If you have a lift, this is be like super easy, okay? Um, and yes, I highly suggest getting one of these hydraulic riveters. It makes it much easier and there's much less chance that you'll mess up putting the rivet in crooked or something, you know? Um, versus this guy, okay? So this one is you're just under under there, you're in an odd position and you're struggling, you know. I was struggling to use this the last time I installed it. Um, some some other stuff that I had to use that I didn't show you in the beginning of the video was scissors. I use the scissors to cut the little foamy thing for the front, okay? The the little foam anti-rattle tape is what they called it. I use scissors to cut that, okay? Um, I use this to take the clips out, okay? Just a, a small screwdriver, just, just small enough to get it in there, okay? Um, and then I use pliers to help um, some of the rivets that, some of, one of the rivets didn't go in very well and I had to, I had to extract it, okay? So I used pliers and I used the, I used, oh, I don't have it with me, but I, I use a cutting wheel to cut it, cut it off, okay? It's aluminum, it's, it's pretty soft metal, but it's easy to cut, okay? And then I had spare rivets, spare quarter inch rivets, and spare 3 16 inch rivets, okay? Um, just in case you mess up and you need another rivet, here it is. So that's one thing I wish that they, they included with this kit was spare rivets, like one or two extra rivets, just in case you messed up, okay? Um, but yeah, but these are, I got these from Harbor Freight. There's a quarter inch and a 3 16. They're a little bit different than the ones that came with the kit. The, they're not as, the, the riveting part, the part that presses on it, is not quite as big as small. It'll work. As long as it covers the hole, that's, that's all that matters, you know? Um, and 316 drill bits. Make sure you buy buy a pack of 316 drill bits because if, if, the, if the, the frame rails on the Prius V are, or on the Prius in general, are, they're super hard. They, you go, they go through drill bits like, mm, like that, okay? So I suggest buying a pack of 316 drill bits, okay? You can get these at Harbor Freight also, okay? Um, if it's not if it's not cutting in there very well, change, use a brand new bit, okay? Um, also, the um, uh, what what's going to be left is you're going to have this cover left, okay? This cover with the clips, all right? So uh, you're probably never going to put them back. So I don't know what to do with it. Just put it somewhere, throw it away, do something with it. <laughs> this is what's going to be left over, okay? Um, oh, also I have these screws left over, these self-tapping screws. Um, I, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> I don't know why they're there. I think they're there. I honestly don't know why they're there. Um, if you wanted to drill some extra holes and stick these in there to make the shield more secure, then, then you could do that, I guess. So, um, in other installs, they've had uh, one-way screws, okay? Um, there's there's one where like you can tighten it, but you can't loosen it, okay? But they didn't. this kit didn't have that, okay? Um, I think the second gen kit has those. I don't like using those, but <laughs> okay. I, I'd rather just rivet it. I think riveting it is sufficient, okay? Um, but, uh, but you could use this alternatively too. Maybe this is why they added it. So if you wanted to use this instead, so they have to use a different tool to take it out, you know? The, the more harder you can make it to take that shield out, the, the, more, the, the more chance that the thief will say, hey, uh, this is too much work, we're gonna move along, okay? So, so yeah. All right, so yeah, the, that's the that's the closing notes. Um, I think the install went pretty well. Like I said, it should take about two-ish hours to to do. And the hardest part is just getting your car up in the air. Okay, if you can't if you can't get your car high up enough in the air, it makes it so you can't work on it. You, you, you the minimum you need is enough to get a drill in there. Okay, or get your riveter under there. Okay. All right. So, and I highly suggest this guy. Okay. Um, if you're gonna do this, if you're gonna do it more than once, it makes it even better. I've, I've used that for for three installs already, and it's definitely paid itself off. in, you know, and and uh, making the job much easier. Okay, the job is much easier. But you have to have an air compressor for that tool. Okay, so that's the problem. Okay, so thanks uh, thanks for watching. That's the uh, Prius V Cat Security Catalytic Converter Shield. Uh, install video all right i hope i hope that was educational and if you got a prius v that helps 
you know, that'll, that'll help you free SV owners, you know, check your catalytic converter from them because once all the second and third gen catalytic converters are gone, you know, free SV is next, you know, that's all I'm going to say. Man. It, it, I wish we didn't have to install these devices, but, but yeah, the sad truth is we do, you know, you, you should do it before it happens to you. I'm, I'm not going to lie, dude. It is, it's a horrible feeling when you go to start up your car in the morning and it sounds like a freaking like somebody cut your exhaust off okay cut your muffler off okay so yeah um so save yourself some headaches you know spend a couple hundred dollars to prevent that that from happening okay that's all that's what i suggest it's it's well worth the money man i'm sure cap city mufflers i'm sure cap city mufflers you know they make some money off of this but i don't think they make that much money you know i've i'm you know it's I, i'm grateful that these companies are out there making these um security devices for your catalytic converter. Uh, we shouldn't have to install something like this, but man, I'm telling you, it's it's a new world, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude. Thieves. All right, here's my gap. Hope you, hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. I hope that, that was educational. Thanks for watching.